All right, Justin Montalvo and Charlie Radke. A little pre-fight animosity here, so this should be a good one. And then a touch of the gloves. Ooh. Nice left hand out of Charlie there to open up. I like, I like how composed Radke is. Both fighters are composed. Ooh. Very, very composed. That was a very smooth shot right into the double. They're pressed up on the cage right here. As close as we can get right in front of us here. Charlie's got that waist lock. Yeah, doing a very, very good job controlling his opponent. He's got that leg lace now. He's got that half back mount, and he's sliding one hook in. He gets that seatbelt position now. And Justin's smiling while he's on the bottom. Very methodical here. This, this, is, this is the style of groundwork that I love. Yeah, Charlie's very methodical. He's going to look to flatten him out now. He's got the underhook, trying to get those leg hooks to flatten him out. He's now got both hooks in. Brad can oh. do a very good job. Sneaks that choke underneath, but Justin's fighting the hands well. He's got that two on one, not really getting him get in position under the chin, although he does have the body triangle. Yeah. Justin's got to turn his hips towards the body triangle here to escape. Or take the risk of using both hands to put pressure on the knee so that he's forced to open that figure four. What, what's the method you prefer, Eric? I like to turn my weight towards the triangle to put pressure on it. I like to go towards the body lock and then try to get my shoulders on the mat on the, on the side of the body triangle. I usually, oh, Chuck's got that, he's got an arm underneath the chair. He's got one arm very, very, very deep. If he could switch to that Dan Severn grip, he will be able to finish. But Radke's trying to peel that hand back. Oh, here they went for the switch. Is he going to get it? Ooh. Ooh, well done. Very close. Justin Montalvo fighting off that hand well. Looks like we might have had the, the Drysdale finish there, the one on Drysdale. Very close. But he was looking for the short choke, like you said. When I'm body triangled, what I like to do is get my opponent's foot, the one that the one that um, Radke has behind his knee, I like to bring that in between my legs and grab it in between my legs. And then at that point, what I'll do is slowly work to change my positioning. Still working for that rear naked choke, but I'll slowly work to change my positioning and put pressure on their knee so that they're forced, just because of that extra pressure on their knee, to break their grip. Charlie's got very, very good control here. I'm, I'm impressed with the methodical Ooh, approach here. He's got, he's, got, he's got the arm trap now, sort of Khabib-esque style. He's landing a few shots. A very, Justin, very, very methodical fighter. Yeah. Justin was able to escape that position, though. He's back to like a semi-half guard here. He's building his way back to his feet. We got a guillotine here. Yep, that I looks saw tight. Him. That looks very deep. Very deep. Can't see if he's got the other hand locked. It's an arm in. It looks like his slips are slipping. He's got to stay on top. Still oh, we got a Darce. From here, switching to a transition to a Darce. Not locked in yet. Could go Anaconda, though. Yeah, he's still got that grip. He's got the gable grip. Oh, that was an illegal knee. Yeah. He was down. We got a five minute timeout here for due to an illegal knee. Yeah, Montalvo was, was smiling still. considered a grounded opponent. And Radke threw that knee before he was up and technically standing on his feet. I don't know that it hit that hard, but although it was an illegal strike, they sort of got to check it out to make sure it didn't have a negative effect on Radke, which could impact the course of the fight. Montalvo was smiling though still the whole time. He looks like he's still ha just happy to be in there. Touch of the gloves and we're back. Ooh, good stiff jab. Ooh, they're trading in the center of the cage right now. Montalvo measuring, looking to find his range. 
popping his jab out there, getting the feeling. Ooh, good counter punch, and, and Maltavo opens up to the body. I like the way Montavo's poking that jab out. He's measuring, he's finding that range. Ooh, good counter. You Both these him, guys got crisp boxing. You see him finishing his combos with hooks to the body, which is very impressive. Ooh, another hook, because he comes goes downstairs, but then he comes upstairs right after. Yeah, both these guys are, are very comfortable in the pocket here. Very technical exchanges here. Ooh, lead left hook out of Gradke. Montalvo opens back up with a counter to the body. Great first round. I'd have to give it to Charlie based on the control early on. But, you know, if that round could have went longer, Montalvo looks like he's finding his range and finding his groove here on the feet, so. Charlie shoots off a combination here. Montalvo's got underhooks. He's getting busy with knees here. Ooh, a little dirty boxing here out of Charlie Radke. Good frame. Nice short knee out of Radke. We got the positional battle here on the cage. Montavo low changes his level, gets a single leg, but he's got a Kimura. Oh, wow, very impressive counter by Radke. Super smooth transition. Montavo's doing his best to defend, sort of able to thwart it, but giving up his back in the transition. That was a very, very smooth transition. The Kimura defense to the takedown, right into a transition to the back. Very good display of jiu-jitsu here by Charlie Radke. Very impressive stuff. And back to that body triangle. Now he has that body triangle. Usually what I would try to do is try to work your way back up to a mount or three-quarter mount from there. This way you have good control and you can do a little bit of damage. Very difficult to do damage here. Both fighters, nobody really in a world of trouble or in a position where they can do oh. much of an offense. Yep, here he goes. Good transition out of Charlie. Almost like he heard you, Aaron. <laughs> right to mount. Oh, no. Well done by Justin Montalvo. He forces him back to half guard. He's digging his underhooks. And he gets back to full guard. Well done by Justin Montavo. You know, both these guys, I love their styles. Radke's style is pretty much, it's very similar to my fighting style. Montavo, his style is something I'm envious of. It's something that I don't have in me. Yeah. Oh, we got a, we got a guillotine here. If he can get his hips back over the top. Well done, Montavo battles back to his feet again. Montavo is scrappy, man. We have scrappy versus crafty. Wow, that's true. That's a very good, that's the perfect description, Eric. Montavo out of trouble now, back to his feet. Looks like he's trying to make some space to get striking again. Right back to the body, even in the clinch, dirty boxing, still working that body. This is an excellent fight. Charlie looking for the single leg here. Montavo's got an underhook. He's using that underhook and he digs a second underhook. He's got his right hand underhook. He's gonna look to try to bring Radke's level up with those underhooks. Good head position and pressure out of Charlie. Driving that forehead into the jaw. Ooh, I like the way he like turned the angle, but wasn't able to turn him all the way far enough so that he was able to get the single. This is the, the real grueling portion of the fight here, this, the cage wrestling. It doesn't look like there's a lot going on here, but this is the most grueling por portion. And, oh, and Montavo with the front headlock. He's got a guillotine. Doesn't have it locked up. Is that a short little knee to the shoulder? I yeah, like that. I like it. Very crafty. Now Montavo's got Radke back up in the cage. Good jab. 
this is where you'll see Montalvo start getting busy. He's gonna get that jab working and start laying it on. You see the different body types. Radke, much more muscular. Not slowing down tremendously, but definitely not as fast as he was the first round. Yeah, Montalvo's kept the same pace, just measured. Yep. And here comes the volume out of Montalvo. Montalvo's that guy that doesn't get tired. No. Just keeps winging him, like you said, very... Uh, Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz. Diaz. This is, this is what you want to see in a mixed martial arts fight. Both these guys are proficient on their feet and on the ground. A lot of beautiful technique standing and on the ground. Oh, oh, the body shot drops him! And Montalvo puts him away! Montalvo, with the come from behind victory, stops him with a body shot. Looked like that was a shot to the river. Wow. What a performance. Big show of respect here after that fight. What a fight. Let's see if we can get a good replay of that finish. I wasn't able to see it because a ring pad was in my way. What a fight. Oh, that was a, definitely a liver shot. Snuck around right around the backside. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee put a stop to this at four minutes, 50 seconds in the second round. By way of TKO, your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Justin Montalvo! <laughs>